Hello, how is everybody? This is Miss Lambert, Sapphire Financial Training, LLBC, I think. Um, last week or last weekend, what was it, last Thursday, I sent you guys a, you know, a question out then. You guys, you know, y'all are having fun with that. So uh, I'm going to give you all two more today. Let's see if you have fun with that. Um, so, you know, we start off, you know, with motivation, you know, you guys do what you have to do. Um, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Keep it moving. If you're around negativity, uh, that's not going to work. You're going to have to keep it moving. Okay. Stay around positive people. You know, sometimes people take, uh, positives and just start looking for negatives. Uh, just, you know, those people are normally used to, you know, negative stuff. So uh, you want to kind of stay away from that, that that type of environment. Stay around people who are positive. Uh, whatever you want to do in life, you know, just do it. Take it one step at a time and just, you know, just get it done. Um, I got a lot of good emails uh, and I got a lot of good answers. And a lot of, you know, you guys came up, a lot of y'all came up with the, with the right answer, but that's where the language of medicine is going to come in at. Uh, the Language of Medicine, um, that's a book that I want you guys to get. Uh, if you want a physical book, that's fine. I'm going to load that book into the Sapphire Classroom. Uh, uh, you guys are asking about the Sapphire Classroom. I have completed the Sapphire Classroom. Uh, I just have a thousand folders in there. I have to fill those folders so you guys can go in there and get what you need. Um, this book I will load on there because this is like one of your most important books because there's no way that you can get through coding without this. Uh, you have to have a language of medicine book. At least that's the one that I like to use. You may have different instructors. They may use a different one, but I like the uh, the language of medicine book by Davy Ellen Chabner. Uh, I hope I'm saying it right. But um, that's the book that I like. And um, I'm going to put the version 10 up there. It's probably a new version 14 out. But to me, it's pretty much the same stuff. The medical terminology is not going to change. So, uh, and one other thing. Um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, educators now, instructors and stuff that are on YouTube. And they're focusing on showing you guys more of CPC. And that's what I want to see. I want to see, you know, more of, you know, let me show y'all how to pass this test. Uh, let me show y'all what to do to pass this test. It's good to have an education on coding. And we're going to, you know, we'll show you how to code. We'll show you, you know, the tricks and trades. But to me, the gist of it is getting certified and passing your test. Uh, I mean, I can get up here and just be talking and talking and talking about what I skilled in over the years and, you know, what coding is about. But the gist of this to me is that you pass your certification and you take it to a higher level. Uh, if you choose to work at home, you can work at home. You choose to have your office wherever, you have your office wherever. You know, if you choose to work three, four days a week, then save that other time for you to work at home. That's how I do. Uh, so, you know, respect to all those instructors out there, you know, because I, I, I watch all of them sometimes. Some of them, you know, my favorites, you know, some of them, you know, they stay focused and then you have some that's just I don't like that robotic thing. I like the ones that are uh, all right so I can relate to her. You know, I I I'm not that instructor that just, you know, we just okay, this is what we're going to do. This is this is no. You need to see me and you need to see my demeanor and you need to see who I am. Uh, because you can ask me anything you want to. Uh, it doesn't have to be about coding and billing. It could be about whatever you want to do. You want to take a test, whatever, civil service. Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. You know, if you guys throw some questions at me and I don't know, I will find out for you. Uh, I might even reach out to another instructor who is on YouTube. I might ask her, you know, this is all about teamwork. This is family right here. So, you know, the coding family is like, it's, you know, you got to keep it tight because I don't like people who keep stuff to themselves. Um, and I mean, I think it's ridiculous. You know, when you start a job and you have your coworkers and stuff and they're just holding stuff in, they don't want to tell you stuff. That's just straight selfish. I'm not sure. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not used to, you know, teaching my girls or, you know, my students or whatever like that. I teach them to share what they know. You know, I hear a lot of each one teach one on TV and BET. I, you know, that was a saying we said many, many years ago, but I'm starting to hear it a lot. And it's true. Each one teach one. You know, and, you know, part of being a leader, you know, it's not about, you know, shining and popularity and stuff like that and being a leader. It's about, you know, can you perform? What can you do? 
you know, so, you know, that type of stuff I don't like. You know, somebody knows something, what is it? You know, stop holding it in. You know, what is that about? That's what you call insecurity. You have people that are ignoring you at work and not showing you this, and they're trying to keep to their little pack. Why, when you're not going anywhere, as long as the leaders are accepting you and the leaders are happy with what you do, the workers got to blend in. No matter what they do to try to keep you out, you're still in. So, you know, uh, I got an email in reference to that. What you, what you do is, you know, keep working on them. You know, you see one of them pass or however you do, give them a smile. Break the ice some kind of way. You know how they do. You know, I mean, you have, you know, co-workers that, you know, that are new. You come in X, Y, Z, and you have even some of the girls that's there for years. They, you know, they'll do that. You know, they're going to come for you. They're going to come for you. I'm telling you, I just get that all the time. That was a couple of months, you know. I, and you know what I say? <laughs> Let them come. Let them come. Because you know what? I'm not saying that's what I'll be looking for. But you know those that did try to come? You know how it is today? Hi, Miss Lambert. Hi, Lisa. Hi. And you know what I do? I go, I told you. Let her come for me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When people know nothing about you, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Don't come in a job and you know everything. Keep it simple. You go by rules and regulations. Somebody come for you, you start with the rules and regulations, period. You do not come for them. You document everything and you start with rules and regulations. Okay? That's how you work it. Anyway, you know, so that's for... Uh, Michelle and Tanisha. Uh, am I saying it right? Michelle and Tanisha. So you all listen. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. Keep it moving. Crack a smile. You know, because a lot of them, they're going to wonder what you're doing and what you're explaining. It doesn't matter what they think. You know, if the boss is happy with you, keep it moving. Uh, you know, but don't, you know, don't go cracking your coding books, you know, on the job and all that kind of stuff. Just put it in your ear. Put, put your, your headphone on. Put it in your ear. Okay, so, you know, again, you know, that's motivation. You know, I appreciate y'all, you know, for that email. Um, just keep it moving. And again, you know, this is Miss Lambert. You Y'all already know me. Most of y'all who are uh, sending me emails and a lot of my past students and stuff, y'all already know me. I don't sugarcoat anything. And I will go up against the best. Trust me. Uh, it's a certain way that you're going to carry yourself. If you're at a certain level of people, then that's how you're going to be. If you're at a certain level of people up here, then that's how you are going to be. You have to be able to change your demeanor because you don't want people to get the wrong perception of you. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody can see you in sweatpants today. You see what I'm saying? And I'm black suit down tomorrow. So, you know, you have to... You have to be versatile and be able to change your demeanor. I, I remember my students used to tell me all the time, Ms. Lambert, you wear black every day. Why do you wear black every day? I, everything I used to wear used to be black every day. And I tried so much to change it, but I just I just like the black. And uh, I still do black every day, pretty much. But, you know, I change it up and throw color in there. But, you know, when I got to go in front of a dignitary or something like that, trust me, uh, I'm not laid back. Trust me, I'm not laid back. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm telling you guys, you know, just be able to change it to demeanor, you know, always go to work professional, um, let them know, uh, how professional you are and let them see how you can perform. Okay. Don't be afraid to talk. Don't be afraid to say anything, you know, especially if it's, it has something to do with improving, uh, your job, improving your job, um, adding, uh, ideas in, okay. Adding ideas and making things better. That's what you call innovation. Okay. So, uh, I'm not going to do this video too long. I always say that, but I'm going to try to keep it. I'm going to try to keep it short. But um, again, you know, keep your motivation going. You know, if you want to do something, just do it. Uh, make a plan and just do it. Um, speaking about just doing it, um, the Sapphire training uh, class. Uh, again, you guys do not forget to get my book. Okay. This book has everything in it that you're going to need. Okay. And this is the first of a series. Okay. I'm going to make a 10 series of this book. Okay. The book series is LLBC Think Study Guides. 
Okay, I have 10 series. I already have the name of the series. And each one of these books is going to give you insight on how to get there without getting a big $10,000 student loan. And, you know, I don't have nothing against student loans and going to college and stuff like that. Y'all know I'm, I'm already up there. But I did have an issue, you know, when I did do a course that was like, uh, what was it, you guys, nine months? And I mean, geez, the, the course was like $10,000. And you know me, I, I'm like, I'm anti, you know, bad stuff. And I just didn't agree with that. I really didn't agree with the fact that my students was being charged $10,000 for me to teach them something that I love to do already. And, you know, that's, that's my goal. You understand? That's the goal. I don't want you guys to pay $10,000 to learn how to code and to learn how to build. I'm not saying don't do it. I mean, I did go to school. Uh, for my associate degree for billing and coding. And to me, it's like, all it did was just open my eyes up. Okay, this is what I want to do. But I don't feel like they taught me like a whole bunch of stuff. And, I, you know, you're talking about $12,000. You know, so of course I went back to college, you know, for BA, uh, you know, for master's and stuff. But I, that, that's, that billing and coding class just kind of gave me an insight of what I wanted to do. I just don't feel like they grabbed me. And I was like, wow, you know, I, they just gave me my little tiny steps to make me go bigger. Uh, so that's why my course is not a whole bunch of money. You know what I'm saying? You guys didn't pay $75 down and the whole thing is only $100, $450. And I usually don't even say how much it is because there'll be times you might catch me on a whim at four o'clock in the morning and I might throw something out there. If y'all send me an email right now, I'm going to teach you everything I know for nothing. So, um, y'all better send me some emails. Uh, you know, go on my website, you know, send me a note, send me an email, shoot me something because, um. Sometimes, yeah, I do get into that mood where, you know, I don't want to charge people a whole lot of money for something that I like to do anyway. And, you know, that's why I'm trying to get the grants so that they can um, supply things that you guys may need to use in the center. Uh, so, you know, that's the next step. You know, I'm going to open up a center. Uh, it's going to be physician coding. Uh, it's going to be billing in there too, of course. But, um, you know, I'm trying to make it easy for those of you who who don't have that, you know, because I'm telling you right now, you go and get a student loan. And, you know, I have people who can pay that student loan back really quickly. And, then, you know, I had students that they were, just, you know, they were prompt to get student loans just so they can get the money back. Okay, so, like, when you get ready to buy your house, they're going to put that in your DTI. And you know what happened? You're going to be stuck. We're going to have to figure out how, to, how you're going to get this house. When you get all those student loans, you're not thinking about it right then and there. When you get older or at whatever point and you get ready to buy a house, it's that's where... Uh, you're going to get in trouble and that's where that's going to count, you know, and that it's hard to do that. It's hard to do that. You got to fit that in there or you, you have like 800 credit score, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I'm telling you, 1% of $250,000 worth of student loans is a lot. And that's what FHA requires. And uh, I'm not going to go into that. But again, you got questions about that. That's my pet peeve. I'm all about the finance. Uh, I will let you know. You know what I'm saying? You want to know something about credit? I will let you know uh, how you get this out, how you X, Y, Z. You know, you on your journey to buy a house. Let's take the baby steps and uh, I'll throw something out there for you to do it. That's a different book. Uh, that's another chapter that I was going to do, which I'm still going to do. I just need to focus on this right now because, you know, you should hear my homeboy. He's like, you know, Lisa, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. But, you know, I'm so multitask. You, you don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. But uh, again, the... Um, you know, when you buy a house, it's, 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 it's a piece of work. It's a piece of work. Um, I know in North Carolina, it's a lot easier because they have homes in North Carolina you can rent to own or you can purchase for six months. And then you can just, if you don't want it, you can decide you don't want to go to New York and Connecticut, all this kind of stuff. You still got to have higher up. I mean, you know, the median is lower in Connecticut. Uh, the median is like $22,000. When I say median, I mean um, how much money you should be making a year. So the median for Connecticut is $22,000. The median for North Carolina is $41,000. The median for uh, New York is $53,000. That That is how much money uh, you should be making in order to get a loan. So uh, th that's the minimum that you that you can make. Uh, you have to be in your job for two years or in that field uh, for two years, for two years. Uh, so let me get out of that because, you know, I can just keep going on and on um, back to medical billing and coding. So, uh, of course, you guys go ahead and get the book. This is the first one. 
Um, the rest of them, you know, I, I'll tell you what they are going to be as I go. You guys probably see them in a the classroom. Uh, now, to get in a classroom, uh, when you guys join these sessions, uh, I will send you uh, a link uh, to uh, get into the classroom. You, I don't know where it is. You will be sent a uh, a code. You'll be sent a code to get into the classroom. Okay. And uh, I'll save this one. Uh, this is the code. It's going to look like this. Okay. It'll have, uh, it'll have your username on it. And it's going to have your password and stuff on it. Uh, I just printed it out. But um, that's how you're going to get into the classroom. Let me show you this book real quick. Um, this is the book right here. Um, let's flip this real quick. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm trying to flip it. And you know I don't know how to flip it. Uh, that's reading in Corey's category. They got to show me how to do it. So uh, that's the deal with that. But one of the things that we're going to do um, is definitely um, go over the language of medicine. Uh, the language of medicine uh, is a medical terminology book. And that's all it has in there is medical terminology. That's what we are going to go through. So uh, I want you guys to make sure that you write down everything that you feel like you need to practice in. Uh, take it to work, uh, put it in cars, whatever you want to do. And that's how we're going to roll with that. Okay. So what is it? 16 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to cut this down and I'm going to probably do another video before this week is out because we really didn't do much on this video. Uh, but, uh, I was going to go ahead and throw a couple of questions out there. Uh, I'm looking for something in here. I just put it up here for you guys to, to look at because you guys had so much fun with the other stuff. So I'm going to go, go to look at that. And, um, the first question is, uh, what is orchiitis? What is orchiitis? Or you say orchiitis. Okay. Uh, inner ear imbalance, lacrimal infection, inflammation of the testes, or inflammation of the elanguino hernia. Okay. That's the only one that I'm going to give you as far as that's concerned. Uh... Oh, I'm going to give you this one just to give it to you. The patient is a 16-year-old female with pelvic pain. Her ultrasound is normal. A laparoscopy found several small cysts in the area of the fallopian tube. These cysts are called follicle cysts, myomas, paratubal cysts, accessory ovary cysts. I'm going to put the book online. Send me an email. That's the only way you're going to get it. Then you guys give me the answer. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.